Hello, good people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. It's no longer news that Omoyele Soare, who is a, a human rights activist, has formally declared his intention to run for Nigerian number one position come 2023 general election. Talking about president of Nigeria come 2023. And he has spoken about the things that he will do if given an opportunity to be the president of Nigeria. And he has uh, also talked about the agitators and uh, what he will do to every agitator in Nigeria. We know that the two major guys who are currently uh, in, under the grip of the federal government is uh, Mazinam Dikanu and Sundebo, who unfortunately is far away in the Bene prison. He has spoken about these two people if he's granted an opportunity to lead this country come 2023. We're going to be looking at all of that in a GFI. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do well to hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, the human rights activist Moyele Sore has formally announced his intention to contest for the position of Nigeria's president in the 2023 general elections. Sore, while making the declaration in Abuja on Tuesday, said that he would run a socialist government focusing on workers' welfare, free education, job creation, and pension reform. He also disclosed that one of his plans would be to create a new constitution for the country and release the 10 leaders of the various movements agitating for self-determination, particularly Mazinam Dikanu of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipom and Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Ibowo Yoruba Nation Group, if he clinches the top job. So they said Nigeria's worker or Nigerian workers, a living package is coming your way. What I am saying to you is that a hundred thousand naira monthly wages is too small for Nigerian workers today. Nigerian student help is coming your way because we will give you free and qualitative education with bursary, grants and scholarship. To be unemployed, young people of Nigeria, I can only promise you one thing, jobs. I'm also going to reform the pension system. For those who are pushing the struggle for self-determination, we will accord you the opportunity you are seeking by creating a new constitution for Nigeria, which must necessarily contain the right to self-determination and the right to referendum if you are tired of Nigeria. He went further to say, and I quote, he said, as soon as I am sworn in on July 12, 2021, I will release all political detainees, particularly Mazinam Dikanu and Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Ibogo. People who are asking for self-determination should not go to prison. Those in diaspora must also be given the right to vote during the elections. He urged that what Nigeria need was a new crop of leaders to turn the fortunes of the country around by for the better. So, who is also the publisher of Sarah Reporters, expressed pessimism that Nigeria may not win the war against terrorism without improving the welfare and working conditions of the troops. Mm. It sounds very interesting, and uh, not just interesting alone, it sounds very attractive. I, I know uh, Moya Leso is one person who has been laboring so much when it comes to human rights activist or activism, sorry, human rights activism. He has been laboring a great deal and trying to show the right direction to go fighting the government and all of that. The big question is, has he ever led, led a state? talk less of a country like Nigeria. It's just personal, you understand? 
Because uh, when we're talking about leadership, it's not just words alone. You know, experience counts a great deal. Nigeria is a country of multiple ethnic groups. So for you to play around it and get one-to-one is not as easy as spoken. You understand? But he had also been able to pick up some of the things that are most needful for any president to, you know, do for they to be a calm and enjoyable Nigeria for all and sundry. But then, looking at um, the scenario of uh, uh, creating jobs and all of that, the question to which I feel would have been most important for him to dive into is the case of how do you, are you going to do it? Releasing Sunday at the AMO and... Uh, Namdi Kanu, that for that one, being that he is an activist, it won't give him any much of an issue. But when we are talking about taking care of the country, being able to deal with the debt Nigeria is daily going into, how do you manage the debt and all of that? There should be detailed explanation to all of that because, uh, you know, every governor or every president, intending president who comes on board will always give you lofty ideas on how to improve. But when given an opportunity, it will drag into months before you know into years before you know into terms you know the president have two terms before you know it will be so difficult to handle all of that now nigeria it requires an experienced experienced leader yeah experienced leader and that's why you still see the likes of uh, you know atiku abubaka um, tinibu and the rest coming up but then we have younger people who can salvage the country? One of them is, uh, you know, uh, the one who had been who had been uh, working and who have led a bank and all of that is, you know, uh, this Adeshina, the man who is in charge of the African Development Bank. He has a lot in stock to give to Nigeria. But then I'm not trying to discredit Amoyele Soare. He's a great guy. But then uh, we are yet to really have uh, see his track record of leadership. Yeah, we can talk of his own, you know, um, media house that had been there for as long as now, giving Nigerians quality, you know, uh, content and all of that. But it goes beyond that. We are talking about 200 million people of different attitudes, of different behaviors, of different way of thinking and all of that. How do you walk around all of them? At the end of the day, you are able to meet up with all their demands and what are the possible t- steps that will be taken to salvage the country from every terrible situation that it has found himself. That's one of the things he never really talked about. I believe that in future there will be granted opportunity, you know, to speak about all of this. But then, then, then let's just look at what Nigerians have to say. Someone here says, uh, what were we expecting? I know that he's trying to whip up sentiment in order to get Nigeria's attention by including Mazin Namdikanu and the likes of Sunday at DMO. Another person here says, it is sweet to talk, but to do harm, no easy as you they talk now. Amoyele, calm down. Another person here says, Amoyele, you can only hit a pressure group. You can only hit group of activists, but don't think that 200 million Nigerians can give you an opportunity to lead them when we have not tested you from the state level and otherwise. Another person here says, one thing is certain, if Amoyele Sowore gets on board as the president of Nigeria, he has a lot of enemies to deal with, and he has a lot of things to do, especially when it has to do with corruption. Another person here says, I know one thing he will run after will be to fight corruption, and no matter how dismal his performance will be, he will be better than this current administration. Hmm. Another person here says, oh, this is just to re- there is no way Amoyele Sowore can lead this country. He is not even in the good books of the northern part of Nigeria. That's where we like to leave it. Go to our comment section.